Are you a fan of drama? When it comes to flying, I'm not a big fan of drama at all, especially on takeoff for landing. Today in Flywire, we're going to talk about takeoff, and I got some pretty cool shots to show you, uh, kind of illustrate my point about when the wing, you know, how we, how we take off. How is a, a really good method to lower the drama? So stick with us on Flywire. All right, today we're going to do uh, the takeoff. We're going to run through the takeoff again, and we'll talk about it a little bit. Update the databases right now, that's good. Okay, so... All right, half up, half left, 150, 150, two, no fly. It's all good. This bit's good. All right, let's go ahead and taxi out. So the takeoff. Four the area to the south. Four lane. Takeoff. What I'm going to do is uh, line up over with the runway, and uh, if I'm doing a rolling takeoff or a uh, static takeoff, it uh, doesn't really matter. The technique's basically the same. Line up with the runway, and I feed it full power. And uh, at that point, I'm uh, watching for acceleration. What I'm going to do is. Four five five Victor, left downwind for three five four five. What I'm going to do is count, and uh, I do. It's how many potatoes it takes to take off. Lightweight, it's about 11 uh, seconds, and heavyweight, it's about 13 to 14 seconds. And that's to my uh, rotate speed of about 73. At that point, I'm going to take my hand off the throttle because I'm planning on flying at that at that point, and then I uh, just set the pitch attitude with the elevator, and then the airplane. Uh, will accelerate enough that uh, it'll raise the nose and then and it'll accelerate a little bit further and we'll get lift on the wings and the airplane will take off. And then I'm going to raise the gear. Once I got a positive climb rate and I'm climbing away from the ground, I'm going to go ahead and raise the gear. A lot of discussion about uh, keep the gear down until you run out of runway that you can land on. And well, okay, fine, uh, you can do that if you're on a 13,000 foot runway, but if you're on anything shorter, uh, the odds are, uh, if you have a problem and you start to get your stuff together, then uh, the end, we can talk about it, we can run the math, et cetera, but the odds are you're going to run off the end of the runway. Now, if it's uh, five or 6,000 feet, much, and way much more if it's less, uh, you're going to run off the end of the runway, so that's not cool. So I'm going to uh, accelerate. What my biggest point here is, is acceleration. What I want to do is I want to get to my cruise climb speed of about 110 knots. Best glide speed is about 105. And I do that because... Portland well, traffic, 5-5, five, five, Victor, turning left, base 3-5. Most... Uh, traffic, three, back, is open. Most uh, runways that I operate off of, um, they don't have a VX or VY component. In other words, I don't need to clear an obstacle. And I'm definitely not just going to do a, a best rate because if I have an engine failure, then, uh, okay, I've got altitude, great, but now I've got to change my pitch angle so much to get the best glide, which is, like I said, 105, that it's going to be a big factor. So, here's... Portland the, traffic, 5-5, five, five, Victor, turn in final, 3-5, full stop, Portland. So, uh, most of what I'm interested in is getting my speed. Once I've cleared the obstacle, that's when I'm going to accelerate to 105. And at that point, I'll climb out. That's the takeoff. It's uh, talk about aborting. You going to three five? Ah, uh, yes, I am. Barry, I'm going to do three five as well. Final traffic right now. Little traffic jam there. So maybe it's heresy, I don't do VX, VY, unless I need to clear an obstacle. Mostly what I'm interested in is glide speed, because if I have an engine failure, then I don't have to go through heroics and uh, use that superior aviator skill stuff to uh, get down to glide speed. I can just push the nose over, I'm at best glide, and then I can figure out what I'm going to do next. Got a couple engine failures in uh, the engine and, and multi-engine, but kind of my plan. Go ahead and close the door. Portland 
traffic wipe Nanza, taking the active 3-5, Borland staying in the pattern. Bit of a roller, line up with the runway. Push the power up nice and smoothly. knots and 110 all right thought it'd be pretty cool to include this uh, shot tail shot you can see the nose comes off gently and then the mains fly off no heroics uh, this particular shot video was shot a pretty cross windy day my main objective is for takeoff is low drama, max predictability for the takeoff roll. I'm going to do a smooth acceleration. I'm going to put my ailerons into the wind. helps me track for crosswinds better. I'm going to track the center line using my rudder. And at my computed VR speed, I'm going to set my elevator and then let the nose, followed by the wing, fly off when they're ready. I'm not going to jerk it into the air. If obstacle clearance is not an issue, I'm just going to accelerate to at least my best glide speed. I don't need any of that other other drama and stuff like that. All I just want to do is a nice, uh, predictable, controllable takeoff and then get up to my glide speed in case my engine quits because I've had a couple of those. It's not fun. So there we had a pretty good review of what a uh, uh, takeoff uh, profile looks like in the Bonanza. Uh, just a smooth acceleration, uh, tracking straight, and uh, then uh, setting the conditions, setting the elevator, so then the nose first and then the wing flies off when it's ready, not jerking the airplane into the air. Low drama, no stalls, and my nickel on the grass is, is uh, unless I have an obstacle to clear, I'm going to accelerate the best glide speed and uh, then press uh, with my climb, So, which would be the next video. Hopefully you liked it, and if you did, hit the uh, hit subscribe and the bell so you can view, you can get notifications of the next video we put out. I sure appreciate that. And if you have a comment or tell me something different or how you do it and how it works better, uh, tell me. Leave me, me a comment. And tell me. I'd love to. I'd love to hear about it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Flywire.